Hi, my name is Steve Redpath of TransEuro Engineering Services Limited. We're an electrotechnical training centre, City and Guilds approved. And today I'm going to show you how to do a safe isolation procedure on a single phase domestic consumer unit. So the equipment we need are the locking off mechanism, suitable padlock, label and locking off mechanism, as well as approving unit and an approved voltage indicator to prove that we have in fact isolated the supply. So first thing to do is actually isolate the supply, in this case at the main switch of the consumer unit. We then apply the locking mechanism. These come in various shapes and sizes. Obviously it has to be suitable to fit the type of switch you're isolating. So we apply that uh, to the switch, like so. Just uh, undo this. Um, as I say, the mechanisms come in various shapes and sizes. And the main thing is that once it's in place, it can't be removed and obviously prevents the switch from being operated. So there we have the isolating locking mechanism in place. We then apply the padlock with the suitable label with, if necessary, the details on the label should anybody need to contact us while the installation is isolated. We then put the padlock through the lock, like so, and lock it. And the key that we use to lock that padlock we keep about our person so nobody else can come along and unlock without our permission. So we keep that on our person. So now we're isolated, we're locked off, we have to prove that that supply is properly isolated. So we are going to use what's called <coughs> an approved voltage indicator. Um, the leads and probes must comply with the HSE guidance GS38. In other words, tips on the probe should be no more than 4 mil, ideally 2. The probe itself should be fused with appropriate finger guards so we can't touch any live terminals. But before we use this device, we must then check that the device itself is working and also check that the leads and the instrument itself aren't damaged and it's safe to use. So first of all, in this case using a proving device, we're going to check that the approved voltage indicator is working correctly. And as we can see it's indicating that there's a voltage present and then we know this is working correctly. We then come up to the circuit that's been isolated and check all the possible combinations that the incoming supply is actually isolated. So we apply the lead to the neutral and then the opposing lead to the live terminal of the main switch and we see that there is no indication that there is a voltage present. From the live to neutral, we then move to neutral to earth. Do the same again. Again, no indication of a voltage present. And similarly, we also do the live to earth as well, or the line conductor to earth. And we see that there's no voltage present. And then as a final step, we prove that this uh, device, the pre-voltage indicator, is still working correctly. We come back to our proving unit and check that it's still operating. And as we see, we can see that it's still working. And we're now therefore safe in the knowledge that this installation is properly, securely isolated and dead. Thank you for listening. Um, you can find more of our videos on test and inspection procedures on our website at www.trans-euro.co.uk. Thank you.